after Biden came to power, and he abandoned uh, uh, Trump's unilateralism. M many people uh, believe multilateralism will resume globalization, will resume China-U.S. bilateral relations. Unfortunately, uh, the, uh, all of these uh, predictions was uh, failed, and uh, they are uh, beaten by the fact. And uh, when Biden adopted this uh, uh, club of bilateral, uh, bilateralism, and uh, deglobalization continued, and the China-U.S. Uh, bilateral relationship uh, continued to deteriorate. And so that's why people uh, start uh, uh, rethinking about and why multilateralism no longer play the traditional role we're familiar with. Actually, I think at this moment, and uh, at this uh, conference, m many people discuss uh, about it. They are not so sure about uh, the function of uh, multilateralism. They are not so sure about uh, we can rely on multilateralism to solve all problems. So in that way, and there's a debate among the participants of the World Peace Forum, it's already beyond the, uh, uh, the differences between China and the U.S., not only the definition of the uh, multilateralism, or what is the true multilateralism. Actually, they're talking about the mechanism of multilateralism, the relationship between multilateralism and the regionalism and globalism. So people try to understand what's the relations between these different uh, uh, concepts uh, and uh, mechanisms. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi also repeated this yeah. uh, in his keynote speech on Saturday as China advocates the true multilateralism. And what does that mean uh -huh. and how would it affect the world? Okay, although academically and uh, the definition of a multilateralism is a very complicated, actually in the reality or the, the core difference between China and the U.S. is not that complicated. When China uses the term multilateralism, it means cooperation. And when U.S. uses the term multilateralism, multilateralism it means a cooperation with some country against the other <laughs> a group of country or another country. So when the U.S. uses the term multilateralism, it is including the concept of competition. But uh, for the Chinese side, when they use the term multilateralism, it means cooperation only, without competition or confrontation. So that's the fundamental difference. I found that many writings and reports said, hey, this uh, joint statement uh, meaningless, it's not important. Actually, uh, to myself, I think it's crucial. It's uh, very, very important to U.S. and uh, Russia relations. The reason is uh, very simple. This joint statement draw the bottom line. That means that U.S. and uh, Russia use this uh, uh, joint statement to prevent their deteriorate relationship go down to the disaster. That means prevent their confrontation as from escalating into mm -hmm. a, a war and then escalating into the nuclear war. We should consider whether China and US need uh, something similar like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, by now, uh, no one can see the bottom line of the deterioration of uh, China and US relations. Mm -hmm. And uh, how can we draw a bottom line how can we prevent China-U.S. Uh, competition escalating into war? This is a very, very crucial and realistic issue we have to face. So pragmatically, I would uh, uh, suggest that and uh, China and the U.S. should discuss about the character or nature of uh, our bilateral relationship mm -hmm. because Russia and the U.S. have a shared view about the relationship. And if China and U.S. cannot reach an agreement to uh, define our bilateral relationship, and it seems to me it's very difficult to prevent the current uh, uh, deterioration of our relationship to, uh, from stop. Nowadays, uh, both sides seem to me don't worry about the competition that much. That means uh, neither side worry about the competition while escalating into war. And uh, when they do not have the fear of the danger of war, mm -hmm. and uh, neither side will be very cautious about their behavior, and uh, neither side will take a, a cautious policy toward the other side. Mm -hmm. So from my understanding, uh, both China and the U.S. really uh, uh, gave a serious consideration about the danger 
of uh, escalation of uh, uh, conflicts to uh, military uh, clashes.